Hi, I'm, I'm Mike Wynn here with Barb Braden, uh, working as part of the History and Archives Project at St. Margaret's Church. I want to call spe specific attention and do a, a real specific invitation to everyone to come to church on March 6th, Sunday, March 6th. For the past four years, in anticipation of St. Margaret's Church, celebrating its 325th anniversary next June, we've been doing a traditional service, a historical service. On March 6th, we will be doing the service from the 1928 uh, Book of Common Prayer. And we'll be doing it at the 7.30, at the 9, and at the 11.15 service. And at the 11.15 service, we're especially going to focus on 10 of our stained glass windows. The 10 stained glass windows that were dedicated on March 3rd, 1929. Parenthetically, the capital, the evening capital for March 4th, 1929, had two front page stories. One about the windows at St. Margaret's and about the other of inauguration of Herbert Hoover as president. It was a big deal. The 11:15 service that day, Barb, you want to tell us about who we're inviting and who we're hoping is going to be here? We've been uh, talking to a number of families of descendants for those whom the windows are named for. Um, in that particular service, a young child who was a descendant um, unveiled the windows. It was quite a dramatic service. And we are hoping that several of the young children, three of them, who were at that service that day will be with us, as well as many of their family members. Uh, so we're extending special invitations to those families, many of them still here on the Broadneck Peninsula, many scattered about, and hoping that they will join us for the special celebration. Also that day at the coffee hour, we'll have our usual um, time to socialize with each other and we hope to uh, have some special treats and things that would be from the 1930s period. We're also encouraging those who would like to, uh, to wear appropriate dress from the 1930s and 40s. And if you happen to have any costumes or uh, clothing available at home that you'd be like to loan us, we would be happy to borrow some of those things for ushers and those that are participating in the service. So again, we encourage you, we invite you to come on March 6th. And just the final question that we, we oftentimes get asked is, why do this? This is part of remembering who we are and where we came from. So many of us, when we come to a place that's been there, like St. Margaret's, which has been around for 325 years, we believe that the place starts with us. This is a chance to remember that this, this wonderful church, this historic church, this church that for more than 200 years was the most important institution on the Broadneck Peninsula, for 200 years had the largest building on the Broadneck Peninsula, that this was here before us, a chance to remember those who gave so much so that in turn we're able to be here to celebrate together each week to remember where we came from and to be there for those who will come after us. Please join us March 6th.